the, the idea originated from the fact that uh, sometimes uh, uh, manufacturers of uh, owners of big uh, installations, they need to make in situ repairs and uh, in situ maintenance. And for them, they usually have comp uh, specialized machine tools, which are usually heavy and difficult to transport of the, uh, at the place of intervention. So at Nottingham University, uh, we had a project with Rolls-Royce where we had a good idea to use a parallel kinematic machine on which uh, is, uh, the structure is more or less identical with a hexapod, but it has uh, the novelty that it doesn't have a base platform. So one of the real advantages of this hexapod is the ability to locate the six feet, which are currently grouped in pairs, in any particular arrangement and on any shape of work surface. We can put a spindle, we can put a probe for uh, non-destructive uh, uh, inspection, or we can uh, put uh, a camera, whatever we need. Imagine if you want, for example, to repair a big thread, M42. If you use a big tap, you need a lot of torque. If you need a lot of torque, you need a big machine. So our innovation was, instead of having a big tool, we have a small tool, start moving the tool around the profile. And of course, for moving the tool around the profile, you need multi-axis. So that's, that's why we have the new concept of a hexapod called free leg hexapod, meaning without the base platform. Each foot has a, a, a magnetic clamp, so we can put uh, the clamps in any position. So if you, for example, you want to machine something on uh, 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 tilted surfaces and the adral surfaces, you can put some of the feet uh, on the flat surface, the other feet on the other surface. For a normal parallel kinematic machine tool, you have it calibrated to a known base, whereas we do not have a fixed base. So the machine requires calibration in each new location, and this provides its own set of complex factors that have to be taken into account when using the machine. We've written several programs here at the University of Nottingham that allow us to calculate the working volume of the hexapod based on the foot positions on the different uh, surfaces that it's attached to. And these also allow us to determine where we should put the feet based on the feature that we want to mill or inspect or perform an operation on. Imagine if you have a large machine which you want to set up against the structure to make a, an intervention, uh, uh, you can uh, spend as much as seven or eight hours to set up a big machine. Imagine something can be 70 kilograms. Uh, uh, work, uh, taking that structure, big machine tool, in a big structure, you have to center it and align uh, with the job. Well, this machine takes only around 20 minutes to align with the job. Once it is calibrated, we can move it to a really good accuracy. We can move it uh, to a, a known position within 60 microns, which is very good for a, a completely portable machine tool and more than sufficient for any of the jobs that um, we've so far encountered. And it can do some very interesting things as well, regardless of what the foot position is, provided that the feature stays in the working volume. For example, uh, this is a freeform shape that we produced using five axes of the machine tool. We've also got here a set of M8 threads that were produced using thread cutting tools and high speed machining as opposed to using a high torque and an eight mil tap. The same can be applied to much larger holes such as the, the M42 holes. This is a standard test piece that's been machined to a high level of accuracy and this can all be performed in one operation. So it, once it is set up in place, and the program is executed, the machine can operate completely independently. So it's not only portable, not only uh, easy to uh, adapt to different environments, but also it has a very short setup time compared with the conventional machine tools. At the moment, we have taken this concept even further through an European project called Mirror, on which we make this kind of hexapod walk.